Three wide. Racing Dubai's out four deep now. Rort had got off the inside. Then Night Prowler, Galaxy Sun. Universal Law sticking to the inside pike. And back last of all is Savannah Roller. In the straight, 450 to go. Muskets at dawn. Goes for home. Led by two lengths, Thunderclap, Newman and Slick Talker. Moon Search is putting in. Universal Law is about six on the inside trying to wind up. And then came Rorted inside the 200. It's Muskets at dawn. Our finest moment getting up on the inside. Thunderclap, Newman, Moon Search. It's our finest moment though, racing up, taking the lead now from Musket to Dawn, Universal Law and our finest moment comes away to win a long neck. Second to uh, take a look at the win of our finest moment, Michael you're with us there the writing was on the wall from that run because the run before we proceed with caution was very good It was, um, he, he was probably a little bit underdone at the time, uh, he got away from us but uh, stepping up to this, drawing one, he drew wide that day um, and let's face it, proceed with caution is a very nice horse. Yeah, it certainly is. Went on to run in the very good races. Barrier one was the key, wasn't it? I think that's what you mentioned as well. Just been able to sit there, get that really nice run and then extend out late. Yeah, um, Peter didn't follow instructions. I told him to get off the fence as soon as he could and he elected to stay on the fence. Well, I'll, t I'll let him have this one. Yeah, certainly when you get the win. Now, are you confident that this horse can stretch out even further? Now, this is the first time over the 1650 he's been able to win and be competitive there, but it looked as though even an 1800 from that run would be within the, the realms of possibility. It'd be nice if they run 1800s here. That's a good point. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Peter Nucky and Peter Barrier won the ideal position. I believe, though, you were told to roll off the fence, but you're going to get away with it with that victory. Yeah, I will. I didn't want to say anything to Mick because... I rode Muskets at Dawn its last start, and I've watched it all its races. It always lays off. Yeah. So I just kept my mouth shut and played, um, played my cards, and it worked out well for me. Oh, there you go, doing the form. It's, it's paid off. Just tell us about the run, because as we mentioned with Mick there, the run behind our pr uh, Proceed with Caution was very good as well, and the price <laughs> for a horse, as I said, it's going along nicely. It was very good. It, that's right, but I've been working here at Belmont when the track's just a little bit soft, and he's actually just been thriving in the last month. There was one day where it was soaking wet and he didn't like it, but the last few weeks he's just been thriving. He brought that to the races a fortnight ago. And Raquel's always adamant he can't carry weight, and so he's got in today with 55. And, um, you know, she was 100% right. Were you confident that the 1650 wouldn't be an issue? It was one over 14 before, but never quite performed over this trip. But as I said to Mick there, the like 1800 metres would almost look with the possibility of the, after that run. Well, that could be right. I think she'll just stick to these type of distance. I thought the class might have been a little bit strong, but... Um, you know, Raquel was, like I said, she was 100% right, don't carry the weight, the horse is in form, had a soft run, and it all ticked the boxes. Good team effort there, mate. Congratulations. Okay, thanks.